What is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Software Inc. I'm uh, I'm a little stoked and uh, happy to tell you guys about some financial things that I figured out in this game that you could basically live off of and basically get rich off of it if you had the time and the patience to just leave your game running like this. So upon today I was like, huh, maybe I'll just look at my finances and see, okay, how are we doing on internet, printing, rent, water, and electricity you know I, I got the new laptops that I've been placing down everywhere and so I wondered if you know my electricity bills were going down so I was just searching around kind of I was searching around in my finances and then I found that you can click on this and so if you go down to deals here then this tells you how much you basically make just by doing support and hosting now keep in mind here this this is what really strikes me well, my company currently supports 1.1 million dollars of hosting needs for a variety of different companies, and but yet we have more support going for those companies. I think no, I think no, we have less support. We have less support. But anyway, the thing about it is that each one of these companies gives me 294 per hour for you know a certain amount of time. Um, I do need to actually look and see where my server's at, because it does say 9.5 gigabytes, and I'm not sure which server that's on. But, uh, lately I've been thinking, I've got a new secret project going on, underground. Yes, I started building the basement for this facility, I got the little elevator right here. One thing that's going to be going on is that, uh, I'm going to build an adequate server capacity to open my distribution platform. It's going to be, it's going to be pretty nice. Now I did, in fact, do what I was going to say I would, would. I hired programmers to fix all the bugs. And, um, you know, I believe we did that in our last video as well. But I did indeed hire some programmers to do some bug fixes and such. So that's, that's really all they do. They don't design Diddly Squat. Now, mostly all my company does is we print, we support, and we host. That's roughly it. The founder and the co-founder roles are what make the software and since we can adequately support everything around then you know things are going quite well as you can also see I've hired a night site support team support echo is right there where the hardware programmers once sat support echo sticks around and keeps the volume down by a little bit but since we have a growing number of users uh, I don't think that's really going on where my mouse go there it is so if we go over here, mostly everybody is able to keep things down. Uh, wild memory is going to be disappearing soon. It's only got 17 active users. Music library's almost got a million, which is really good. The, we're doing support for this person. It's great. They're going well. I accepted computer tech at 33,000 a little while ago, and it's still going down. Despite the fact it's having 686 on my rep, you on my followers, not my reputation on my followers. I don't have too great of deals. Something I do need to tell you is that quick little tip. You can get rich off of doing hosting, but always look at your, you know, your bandwidth that it uses. Don't look at how much it gives you. Just look at this. This right here, this is 123.8 terabytes per second. That's, that's crazy. I have, I have 142 one gigabyte servers in all these little rooms. And that only equals up to 142. And this right here is the special branch, too. There's uh, oh, 182. Okay, so I added on to it. But there's 182 of those to make 182 gigabytes. To need 123 gigabytes, that's, that's you know, that's basically, I might as well just turn my entire basement into a server complex. Because I would need well over 900 servers. And then... On top of that, you would have to go and you'd have to connect them all individually, so like dragging one to the other and so on. So it it just it, no, just you know, just keep that in mind, please. I'd hate for you guys to accept some big deal for hosting and then you realize you can't really support it. So when you end it, you end up losing like three of your stars. You know, it's hard to get those back. So that's that's what I've realized. Um, I can support this one at 64 gigabytes, but how much is it going to climb? I mean, if it really says its maximum bandwidth usage is 123.8 terabytes, you know, again, that's that's still a lot. I forget how much it is. I think 500 gigabytes, no, 1,000 gigabytes is like one terabyte. But this is also a game. I don't know. 
But yeah, so, quick little update on all that stuff that's going on around here, around the office and all. Um, see, our marketing is unavoidable, nothing there. Development's going great, we're working on the wild board, it's actually almost done, we're at 23 of 26 needed. Uh, um, also, something I did say is that I was going to open my distribution platform, can't do that on this video, maybe next time, or maybe a little ways away. Because I do need, I, as, it, as you can see, it says it will require adequate server capacity. So the basement that I have, I'm going to be building a 500 gigabyte server capacity down there. Along with a couple of new support teams and printing rooms. And that's mostly all that the basement will be used for is strictly just server things. That will help with a lot of things around here. Other than that, um, distribution pretty much costs you money. I, I think it's pretty funny. If you look at distribution, as you can see, 8 million, 7 million, 8 million, 6 million. It, it costs you money to just you know, distribute things. But the digital one is digital copies, and I don't think I've really looked. Not sure how I would look at it. I do have stocks, by the way. I do have these great little stocks going on here. They're, uh, they're quite expensive, indeed. Remember, I bought one and it like it took me down to seventy nine percent, and I just I couldn't get out of that. Um, I do need to figure out how to get a subsidiary, subsidiary company, but I have not gotten there yet at all. Um, this this fine red line is our balance. We slowly, steadily have climbed. We dropped. We got. This is where we got stuck at that time, but now we're climbing up. We're we're still going up. Education, not really doing too great. I mean, I'm not sure. I still have to fiddle around with the game. The game has so many hidden little features around it. I mean, I hired on my leads. I gave them HR management to do a variety of different things with their teams. But it doesn't appear that doesn't appear that they have done really diddly squat with their teams. So, for instance, every year or every few years, I always get that little thing about somebody. Um, ugh. My voice cracked. I always get that thing about somebody has, uh, what, well, wants a raise or something. So, you know, HR management allows the leader to take over HR responsibilities like hiring, firing, settling disputes, raises, and education. Okay. All right. That's great. That is great. Nobody cares. But I'm pretty sure you have to enable it somewhere. That's the kind of, yeah, there it is. HR options. Support. Go. Support. I mean, it's, I mean, so it's it's enabled. Oh yeah, here we go. Force roles. Preferred age, education. We'll go to that education cooldown. Uh, preferred age. Uh, that is pretty nice. There we go. That might actually be what it is that I need. Um, the budget. If I give them a budget, maybe I'll just give them like fifty grand and see what they do with it. And that's a poor. Maybe they'll do some other stuff. Their programmer designers marketing is 16. Okay. So ultimately, let me count how many computers are in the support room. We have, we have 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This one here is used by nobody, so that means we need 7. Ah! Oh man, it just makes me laugh. Evidently, I forget my hotkey for recording is the number one. So every time I touch it, it just stops recording. It's so dumb. Well, we'll do three, three days or something like that. I don't, I don't fucking know. Number, use the negative number to allow several courses taken at one. Three, only allow. Yeah, okay. All right. So salaries forty three thousand. Okay. So. Now then, we'll see if that actually does something. Let me monitor my teams here at 17 because we do need, not including a team leader, there should be a total of 18. Oh, did they hire somebody? I wonder if he hired somebody. Yeah, look at that. He did. Oh, shit. It does work. Well, that's pretty cool. Awesome. Well, I guess there's the title of that video. How you enable HR options. Well, uh, I guess that just means we're just going to go through and do that so we don't have to deal with these issues anymore. Um, designers? Yeah. 
I mean, ultimately, I don't want certain leads to be able to do just anything at all because I'm afraid, you know, they might, something might happen. So support Bravo. Do we even have support Bravo in here? Yeah, we do. Here it is. Go over here, support Bravo, HR options. Also giving them a budget of 50000 despite the fact of us having that much. We'll handle wages, complaints, marketers. How many marketing do we have down there? That's great. Education, we'll, may, we'll, we'll just turn that all the way up. We'll make it three. Not sure how many I have in support Bravo. Pause. One, two, three, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11. 11 typical ones, 12. So there's 11 marketers and one lead, so that's 12. Yeah, so there should be a total of 12 people on that shift. There's 11, so. I have no idea what totally is going on with this computer today at all. For a, mo a few moments ago, I was like, huh, oh, we're recording, that's great. Uh, well, no talking to myself the entire time but anyway whatever you guys missed i enabled hr options for both support and support bravo which they will hire and assign and force roles for different people forcing roles is their strongest roles which mostly are marketers there's nothing more added to that fleet and so this should help my issue with handling wages as their lead would do now, of course you know if the lead wants to come to me and i i'll bump them up you know we're at 200 million right now I, I have no problem with giving, you know, that person a huge raise. Ultimately, I need to figure out how are we doing here with this stuff. Great. Wild Memory has 10 active people. What do we got here? 10 million? Cool. Alright. So, we'll have to go in and fix this issue. But, uh, as you guys heard before, we are doing a, uh, this by the way is a new little room. It's the extra special branch that I created. Um, this is the current uh, adequate for everything that will have adequate server capacity for um, all kinds of different things. I will only use it for my kind of things. It will not be a public server. It's just going to be whatever I make that requires a server like this website builder here that's going to require a giant ass server. Post past peer reviews. What do they say about this? <laughs> 597 yeah that's right they gave wild calculator 9.7 yeah i was a little happy about that oh well let's let's keep looking around here now that we have hr options enabled and all that maybe i will i do have a team leader for programming but i think we might need to send him off to get the uh the job completed Pretty much, bitch. After that, then, you know, we won't have this issue anymore. That'll be great. <sighs> hmm. Your strongest roles. You know what? I honestly don't even care at all. Because here's, here's why. Um... I don't really care who they hire on. I hope they hire on people, but if they're if they're doing education constantly, then people will get better. And if that's how things are going to go, then I will start a new project of creating programming teams for specific things where we will do other things with them. Ultimately for now until all programmers in certain fields have very nice skills and all that uh, skills for designing and programming code, uh, they really won't do much, but fix bugs all day. That's um, that's actually roughly about it. An offer today that I wanted to tell you guys about. Understanding HR options, looking at not making dumb server mistakes, and one quick tip of getting up to uh, being rich, and one of those things is hosting. Now, I do see that I have a lovely new deal here. Well, oh, here's one right here. Alright, so we got, this is 15 megabytes, but it's maximum is 969 currently. So if I go over here and I look at this, let me see, how are we doing on my states? That's great, great, great. There, There's there's nothing too bad at all on here, so we'll add it to the public branch. 
Accept. There we go. Now, you know, we're, they're giving us four bucks an hour now. No lie, that could increase and go up. I do have this up into 182 gigs. Unfortunately, if it gets that high, I will end the process and just take whatever negative stars I get off of it. Because I'm, I'm not going to build a super massive server complex for that. Crap. We'll just keep an eye on it and see how much it increases here in a little while. It, uh, I don't think it'll go up too much at all. Oh, it went up 20. Okay. So that, it, yeah, so it'll take a while to go up. Great. Alright, so, and then for printing deals, I try to accept the smallest amounts of printing also. So for printing, they only give you 22 for that. That's cool. 5 million, really? Uh, I can accept that one and take it on. My printers don't slack ass or anything, so I mean, it, it's not like I, you know, have one pallet and I can't support a lot. We'll take on that one as well. It's only 40. You know, this, this is also a good way to put just a little dink in my pocket. But again, um... Also for these, quick little speaking here, if you accept a printing job bigger than your printing abilities and you cancel it, then it charges you for all those copies that you did not make. So for like, um, for like this, they'll charge you 59 cents for every copy you did not make for that 6.2 million amount, which I canceled one that was like 700,000, no. It was it was almost it was like a million one point two million. I canceled that and I got charged eleven million for that shit. I was just like, damn, that's a lot. So keep keep also keep that in mind. It's um it certainly is a thing. So there you go. That's that's pretty much enough there. Um printers will be hard at work. Oh and I just can't believe my voice keeps cracking. It's a little upsetting, honestly. I'm, I'm about to have problems right now. I'm about to just scream and throw some stuff out the window and call myself Judy and all of this and all this other Dingle McCringle stuff, Dingle McCringle Berry. Yeah. But uh, with all that being said, man, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I will see you in the next episode. Speaking of which, in the next episode, we're going to be taking a look at our new server capacity for the extra special software we're creating in the future and that being said the website builder and then the website hoping you know yeah and then i get a new upcoming game that i've been working on recording and all that i'm sure if you guys have heard of it startup company it's um it's like early access and steam but it's it's where you can either run in a digital distribution platform like amazon it, you know it gives you it gives you like five or six different scenarios that you run these things and then you create and use contracts to have upgrading your you know websites, all that kind of stuff. Well, I'll see you in that video at some point. But yeah. Peace.